haven't watched the Manchester City game. Who who had the balls to do it? Because I slept through it. Um, I had I was lying in bed and I had it on because I was too hungover to actually sit up and watch it. Um, a little bit surprised to see that result, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, two two. I promise you, I wasn't going to do this, Chris, but I have to. I mean, my mind immediately went to Spurs game. I know, I know, and I know what you're going to say, and I know you're going to be right. But is there anything, is there anything to be said for for another mass? And is there anything to be said for Felipe Coutinho doing us a favour in the last day of the season? Chris, just give me an answer that gives me some goddamn hope. It's a quote that that you've said multiple times. It's the hope that kills you, and I don't want to be killed, mate. I have absolutely zero hope that Aston Villa will do anything. Uh, and I also don't blame the Tottenham game as well, because if we're going to blame the Tottenham game, why not go further back and blame the Chelsea game? And then why not go further back and blame the Brighton game? You know, there's 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 loads and loads of instances where we could have got points, but then we could there's loads of instances where Manchester City could have got more points as well. You know, let's not forget they battered the door down against Southampton and Crystal Palace and they didn't they didn't get any three points from them. Yeah, I have no hope. But at the same time, I also I'm not going to go back and use revisionism as well. Because I don't, I don't think that's fair. I think we just have to treat it as the way it is. Yeah, I mean, I know you're right, Chris, but oh god, it's just it, it's going to happen again, Paddy, isn't it? It's going to happen again. They're going to beat us by a fucking point again. Oh lads, um, it's it, West Ham really probably should have stayed on. Like they bottled it. West Dawson had a hell or Kufal with it. Tremendous own goal. Like but then again, if they hadn't lost, it would have gone down to goal difference anyway. If we had won both games, but it. It could have semi been in our hands if they had a loss today, which would have been great. But now it's not. Now we need Villa to just get a result, to be fair, providing we win our boat. Let's be honest. Take Steven Gerrard and Felipe Coutinho out of the equation and we'd all be like, no hope for Villa. I, it's a nice it's a nice thought. I will hope for it. I will still line up for deadline day or line up for final, the, the final day and be ready and excited. But I would be extremely shocked if City didn't slap them badly. I think it'd be um, five or six nil, honestly. <laughs> yeah, not to not to mention well, the game was a good game, like, but they have Tyrone Mings at defense, and he's like one of the almost worst defenders I think I've ever seen. He's the most overrated man you've ever seen play the game. Um they also are fighting Burnley, or they're playing Burnley on the Thursday, I believe, who are fighting for their life. So who knows? It'd be a great story. It'd be one of the best redemption arcs and stories in Premier League history that Gerrard could finally win the league for Liverpool it would be amazing my head says no chance my heart says yes I've come to peace with at least that draw today with West Ham and City removes the goal difference aspect to it in my head for that to come into play we both need to well we, they'd need to lose last day of the season we'd need to draw if we beat Southampton so that's that's done the, the idea of both of those things happening nah but I, I won't lie I do have a glimmer in me, Chris. I have a little glimmer. You know, look, I'm I'm I was uh I was sitting in the beer keller in Liverpool with some other Liverpool fans. We did an Anfield agenda meetup the uh the season we did lose it by a point and then of course went to win the Champions League. So I've been in this situation before and built myself up and been let down, but I don't know. I just I don't know, Chris. There's something in me, man, that just won't let this go yet because I was hoping to wake up today and it to be resolved for me, one way or the other. So either West Ham pulled the miracle out their ass or Manchester City destroyed them and added four more goals and the goal difference was insurmountable. So this has actually made it more difficult because I was I was sending over my predicted 11 for the Southampton game to Connor, And I did it out last night thinking that City were going to win. And I was, I won't be low light here, lads. I was throwing in fucking everybody and everywhere, keeping them all safe for the final. But now... Klopp's left with a really difficult group of decisions to make because he can't go weak against Southampton on Tuesday because we need to make a goal to the last day of the season. And we don't know the situation with some of our lads after yesterday, although I'm a little bit more confident in Verge when I seen the videos of him dancing around the dressing room. So I'm a little bit more <laughs> confident that Verge will be all right. But um, I don't know. What, what, what do we do? What do we do? And chat, by the way, I'd love to chat to get in on this. What do we do on Tuesday? You know, because we have to at least get the win, not maybe chase the goal difference. Because I'm the goal difference is done. There's yeah, no goal goal it is done. to me, the goal difference is done. There's no need because we're not going to lose the Wolves in the last day, no matter what. Like you know, it's not it's not happening. The goal difference is absolutely done. That won't come into equation. Which is kind of a at least we know our fate now. We win both of our games, and we just it, we always were going to need a, a favor on the final day. I think we were always there was never going to be a scenario where we didn't need a favor on the final day. I don't think the, the difficulty I find is I had given up. I like you know after the Tottenham game and City went them won Newcastle. I was like that's it gone. So I was finished and now I've been I've been reeled back in. 
And because we've got that glimmer of hope today, it's just, is there a twist in the tale? Is there a city bottle to be had? Will we finally be on the right side of a final day title race? It just, it just it'd be so perfect if we were, but then my head's like Kevin De Bruyne at 4-0, uh, 15 minutes in, do you know? Yeah. So you're angry. Um, I, I realised I completely didn't answer what you said there, by the way. Sorry, I went off on a tangent. <laughs> That's all right. I do them all the time. No problemo. Um, yeah, Chris, look, I'm I'm glad we are going to go to a last day decider one way or the other. It feels like it should. It feels like it deserves to go to a last day decider. Everywhere in the league is going for a last day decider. No, Connor a, said that to me earlier. Reason. Everything. Champions League or Champions League spots, maybe Europa League spots, if you want to say West Ham are still in with a bit of a chance, but certainly the relegation's on, and we'll go on to that in a minute. But Jim, yeah, brilliant. Jim, Craig. It's all going to the final day, Craig. Well, the relegation titles as well. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like Connor. That's Connor. Yeah, That's Connor. <laughs> very good, actually. Thanks. Thanks, <laughs> Chris. Uh, yeah, but it does deserve. It does deserve. Of course, it does. It's been an incredible season from Liverpool and Manchester City for in at different times, um, and and it's all going to collide at the last moment. Hopefully, they are the ones who slip up this time, and it's not Stevie, and he takes advantage. That. That I, I still get PTSD from that Norwich game. This does not slip now. We go Norwich exactly the same. And then he fucking slips. Are you mad? What's that about? I know. It's, uh, oh, lads. I don't know. I don't know. It's... Villa are shit, though. Well, uh, I yeah. still think they've got something in them. They've got individual players that can create something. That's the only thing that, that gives me a modicum. And I'm talking 0.01% of hope. I have fully resigned myself to Man City winning the title. I have got absolutely no emotion invested in this title race whatsoever. I, I'm that convinced that they're going right. to go to Villa. Simple question for the chat. Do you have any hope? Yes or no? Simple answers in the chat. Do you have any hope for the last day? Yes or no? Yeah, so... Yeah, Craig, pull up the chat there. Someone said something there. What's that? The super chat there, Craig. <laughs> I'd be uh, seeing Mings lose an aerial duel to Dan James. Yeah, he's uh, he's not oh, great. No. I mean, listen, of course we have hope. But I think I'm with Craig, Chris on the um we've won the FA Cup. I'm I have never we were we've never led this title race. I'm not expecting the Premier League title. It will be an it'll be a bonus at this stage. Um I've always said that the Champions League is a must. If we can somehow if we can win this title on the final day to win the quadruple, oh, well no no, no, yeah, it won't be. We couldn't because we don't know yet. But yeah, of course, there's hope. Whether it'll happen or not is a glimmer is probably the, as far as I would define it. I'm just going to bring up all the positive comments. I'm going to will. We're going to will this one over the line together. The folks. Question I have: Do you think Gerard, when doing his team talks ahead of that game, will specifically say "do it for Liverpool" or will he try and hide that? I think. I was thinking about this actually earlier on, Paddy. I think the angle he's going to go down is you're all playing for your places next season because he can't go in there and go, do it for me, lads, for Liverpool. You know what I mean? He has to go <laughs> in with the approach of you're all playing for your places next season. Nobody's secure. This is your last yeah. chance. That's the way I'd go at it. If whoever, I whoever, whoever scores gets a go and misses. I don't think he'll be quite going down that angle. <laughs> but no, yeah, I'd love to know. Yeah, it's interesting. I can't wait to hear his pre-match because obviously we're not going to hear it till like a Friday at the earliest because they have Burnley. But if he does win, beat City and wins us the league, I think that's redemption for 2014. Not for him, probably personally, because he'll want to win it himself. But, you know, it's it's a go, it'll be a long way towards redemption and he could uh, expel the ghosts of past. 